Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing in my thoughts on the latest drama within the royal family. And today I'm catching up with all the royal news after being out of action for, I think, well over two weeks. Many people were up in arms that Harry and Meghan had accepted the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Ripples of Hope Award. We know that they have not been truthful about things, and there are some who are saying that they have accepted an award, and the award was for being untruthful. They have officially made themselves heroes by doing this. It's a human rights award for their, and I quote, heroic stand against structural racism, and it's actually a joke. But obviously not a joke to them. They are milking this for all it's worth. I know people are said to be paying $1 million to sit next to them, so their award was actually standing up to the so-called structural racism within the royal family, which we know does not exist. They've more than enough proof of that, although they don't have to prove it. Apparently, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is not happy with this, and I don't blame him. He's an amazing man who is a genuine humanitarian through and through. Angela Levin says that they are getting too big for their ambitions. I think they're getting too big for their lies, which are catching up with them. They're not clever enough to plan it well. It seems now that the US public have had enough of Meghan and are turning their backs on her, and her fans seem to be taking a big step back. Either they know that they can't win, or they're waking up to the reality of their hero. And above all, as it's been said to me, the money has run out. Anything they do would have to be for volunteer work. And talking about the volunteer work, it seems that the dastardly duo have actually put pressure on a certain charitable endeavour whereby they've been making demands and you just don't do that. You don't make demands when you do volunteer work. I guess that was Megan's demands on wanting a certain number of photographers and all that sort of thing. It's also been said to me that Meghan's trying to get certain fashion designers to send her clothes, which were previously not an option when she was within the royal family. So she's really going for it now. I'm also hearing that the palace and a certain three-letter organisation could be investigating some Meghan fans that may have been responsible for the protest and disruption, albeit isolated, during William and Catherine's trip to the Caribbean. I felt at the time that this was a set-up, and many others said the same. If true, it will be interesting to see how the new king responds. He's actually slammed for allowing his staff to show off royal gold cutlery on social media, while the UK is heading for a recession, and people have to choose between the heating or eating. And I can see their point of view, but you know it's not going to make a big difference in the great scheme of things. We know they've got gold-plated everything, so hiding the cutlery is not going to make a lot of difference. And yet you can't help but compare that with the Queen washing dishes at Balmoral, warming herself over a two-bar electric heater and tottering off to bed with a hot water bottle. Rumours are that Meghan is chasing Tyler Perry, but I don't believe that it's in a romantic way. I would think it would be purely regarding prestige or money. In other words, a business move. Now the latest on Catherine and William's trip to the US and the total and sickening way that Meghan has used Catherine and William's images in the documentary trailer. It's so obvious and friends of William and Catherine's are disgusted by this. They've used a very, very severe looking picture of Catherine to prove a point in this video. Something needs to be done. Meghan always talks about copywriting her photos and... Catherine and William need to take action. This has gone too far. The actual image was the one taken during the Commonwealth Day service in 2019, where Prince Harry and Meghan were seated behind William and Catherine. And yes, Catherine looks severe, but any wonder with what had been going on with Meghan, and also Catherine's concerns about the Queen. Harry says that about no one sees what goes on behind closed doors, and this very dramatic thing with going to the face of Catherine, it's none of it is relevant. It's all been manipulated for them to prove a point. So this has been timed perfectly to coincide with Catherine and William's first visit to the US in eight years. I doubt it will make a lot of difference because the popularity of those two is as strong as ever and it just shows how low Meghan and Harry will actually go. And then the Earthshot Prize, Prince William's Earthshot Prize, which took place 
amidst all the palace racism scandal. And while on the plane from London to Boston, which incidentally was a commercial flight, in keeping with the environmentally friendly mission of the Topshop Prize, Catherine and William quietly found the seats in first class, and William answered questions about why they were there and what they were doing, and they seemed to impress everyone around them. And the story of William's godmother, Susan Hussey, and the very disturbing allegations of racism made against her by a domestic abuse activist, who was apparently asked repeatedly racially charged questions by Lady Susan Hussey. And to me, it sounded more like ignorance and being out of touch with things and outright racism, although she has been made to step aside. Prince William was made aware of the situation and he supports the actions taken. And now this has severely backfired on him. William should have said nothing. He should have at least looked into it. But because he and his father are so keen on protecting the royal family and they jump on anything like this, they didn't realise that this is a setup, and probably by Meghan, that everything like this will be jumped on by her. We now have this lady's church supporting her. There are a high percentage of black people in her church and they're saying that she does not have a racist bone in her body. Wow. So William should have held back before commenting anything. Meghan seems to have them all in the palm of her hand. The second trailer of the Netflix documentary has Harry saying that the women who enter the royal family have to endure what he refers to as a dirty game at the hands of the press. So what is this if it's not a dirty game But he and Meghan are play- that he and Meghan are playing and have been ever since they met? I'm sure that Catherine would feel that the press are nowhere near as dangerous to her as Meghan herself, who was discovered in the bedroom of one of Catherine's children, taking photographs before Catherine even knew anything about her. They should have banned her from the family there and then. If this wasn't enough for them, then to have the disturbing trailer which is focusing on Catherine, there is no reason for Catherine to even be in the trailer. It just emphasises Meghan's obsession with her. She will never be Catherine. How disgusting of Harry to jump on his own brother's special trip to promote environmental prizes in order to steal his limelight and try and get even more attention than he is. The thing is, Harry's not a little kid now, and this ridiculous behaviour is only making Harry and Meghan look bad. Nobody else. The Cambridge's work is impressing everyone, so whatever Meghan and Harry do to try and grab the attention and make Catherine and William look less with what they do, it won't happen. They're just flies in the ointment. Harry also used a photo of himself with Chelsea Davy in the documentary. Whatever is this about? It seems as if Harry is trying to not just get sympathy for Meghan, but for all the women who have ever entered the royal family. I think these people need to speak out. Chelsea Davy is a lawyer, and I think maybe it's time now that she spoke out. Catherine also needs to take legal action about them using their images to portray this sort of stuff. So yeah, the only dirty game is the game that Dirty Harry is playing. Then there's a photo used by Netflix and Harry and Meghan to suggest an intrusion by the press. And it turns out that this was a photo taken from an accredited pool at Archbishop Tutu's residence. And only three people were in the accredited position. And it's being said that Harry and Meghan agreed the position This guy, Robert Jobson, was there. More lies. And then we have another photo, which they were using to say that it was them being hounded by the press. And this photo was taken at a Harry Potter premiere, years before Harry and Meghan even met. More gaslighting. More manipulation. Let me have your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.
Thank you.